everyone, it's Fantasia. So today we're having a little fun in The Sims. So Wicked Winds recently came out with an update. Actually, I believe it was like mid last month, but I don't know if I didn't update my Wicked Winds for a little bit. Obviously when the recent updates happened and everything, we had to update all our mods. Wicked Winds wasn't causing any problems for me. And then of course, like it was necessary to update just recently. So I was like, oh my God, what are these new options? <laughs> I was like, wait, what? So some of them I'm going to show you guys in game and then some of them I'm just going to read to you guys over on the update post. It just kind of depends. But oh my God, I love this update. Like, are you kidding me? I feel like Wicked Whims is always so much more than what some people think it is. Like it adds a lot to your game. It's not just about like crazy woohooing. And I use the blurred version. So not to mention, like, I don't even see what my Sims are doing anyways. I love all the other stuff. Like I don't even have any animations or nothing. I don't get any of that. I literally use this mod because it adds so much stuff. Like you guys already know it adds like the birth control and all that. But yeah, like all these updates add all these new features. So let's go ahead and get on into it. So the first portion I want to show you guys is the passionate romance. Like, am I the only one that didn't know this got added? Like supposedly this was February 12th. To me, this is like just brand new since yesterday. <laughs> So basically this adds four new unique passionate romance interactions, added passion boosting and passion withdrawal. Have you ever thought that it would be nice to have more romantic interactions? Maybe something more passionate, something that hits the spot and something that lets you feel the love. So I'm going to be going over these ones in game. So we're going to go do that now. So as far as my Sims go, they kind of all live together, but there's like two apart separate apartments here, which I thought was kind of cool, but they are like they have a thing. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and explore some of these with them. So they're like the cute little alt couple. As you can see, they currently have hickeys right now. They were just having a little makeout session. I did a video on the hickeys mod. So check that out if you haven't, but let's go ahead and do this thing. So we can have him or she can do it, but you know, we can go over here. We can go to romance. And if you go to physical intimacy, there's butt spank, long kiss, passionate groping and squeeze. So these are the four new options. Like literally I saw these while recording on my second channel for my let's plays and I was I was like what <laughs> so we're gonna do the bus thing and he'll go over to her and i love this this is everything we need some more romance interactions so these are like custom animations you can see <laughs> the boobies are grabbed and everything <laughs> Like, oh my god. So yeah, literally like butt spanking for real. So there's that. And then you're going to get this passionate romance little thing. Butterflies in the sky, Holden Meadows feels as high after that sizzling moment spent with Reagan. Holden has a full heart and his head in the clouds. He will be daydreaming about Reagan's electrifying touch for a while. Holden can take pleasure of up to two passionate moments a few times a day. Every passionate moment boosts Holden's well-being and helps him stay happy with special lucky effects. Like, what? <laughs> You guys, this is so cool to me. Like, I absolutely love this. Then we have Felt the Spark. The touch that Holden shared with his lover felt like a strike of lightning. A touch like that could jumpstart a heart. It sent shivers down their spine and Holden still feels his skin tingling with excitement when thinking about it. I feel like we're all dying for like the romance pack that's supposedly coming. And this is just what we needed. So she also has the same thing and it's making her feel energized. So we can have her go do something too. So we're going to go to romance and then again, physical and then let's do a long kiss all right so here we go here's the animation for this one kind of goes into it slowly and look at that like oh the way she has her arms around him is everything it's it's not perfect okay this though i think is just my game being weird so ignore that okay so that is the long kiss it's not a makeout or anything it's just a normal kiss but like long version which i love so now she's getting the passionate romance thing the same type of thing and then i don't think there's another moodlet for that because like they've already oh no way is there okay i don't think so honestly i don't know <laughs> but anyways let's go ahead and do the next one i want to show you guys like all the animations and there is more than this like this isn't the only thing to the update but this was one thing i could specifically oh we can holden is already passionately boosted five hours left isn't that so cool so while we wait i'm going to show you guys some of the other features so we have this which i thought was pretty cool too so insatiably lustful wicked attribute so this is a new trait want to be annoyed with your sim being overly flirty and constantly looking to have sex with someone that's what the insatiably lustful attribute will provide. In this moment, insatiably lustful sims aren't that assertive with their approach, but they do come with needs that will make them miserable if not fulfilled. Lack of sex will continuously make them more and more uncomfortable and lack of variety or trying will reduce satisfaction, introduce boredom. Although masturbation won't reduce the need for sex, it will slow it down. <laughs> 
Additionally, the insatiably lustful attribute comes with new social interactions that have special behavior when performed by NPC Sims. So this is interesting. We get new moodlets and everything. I believe you can just like give these to your Sims and create a Sim. We're going to be going and doing that, but you can get intimacy deprivation. The lack of intimate physical connections has left Rodrigo feeling on edge, restless, and irritable, making it difficult for him to focus on anything else. We also have hollow victory. Despite successfully taking the edge off, Ro Rodrigo remains caught in a cycle of irrational thinking. He can't help but trouble himself with the idea that his sexual encounter would have been more fulfilling if he had taken the time to develop a deeper connection first. Okay, so, you know, I love this because I feel like it adds for storytelling. I feel like this is something that hasn't really been in the game, like, at all in any way, shape, or form. This would be a good storytelling opportunity. You can go ahead and give them Wicked Whims cheats through, like, you know, cheating it. If you go ahead and turn cheats on and then and then shift click, you'll be able to add this trait here. So I'm going to go ahead and give him this one. So now he has that trait. So here it is here. And then there's another trait. So let's go over that one. Okay. So now, yeah, he has that trait down here. We're going to see how that affects him. But first there's actually another trait with this update. Okay. So we also have the shy wicked attribute. So another trait, I hope the name Shy won't be too confusing or displeasing to most of you as I couldn't come up with a better name to capture this behavior, modifying attribute. So this is not talking about just like normal, like shy every day. Most Sims are very open and exceptionally confident, which allows for easy storytelling. But what if you want to limit some things? or you want to limit some things I think it's meant to say, that's the goal of the shy attribute. Shy sims like the same thing as everybody else, but in moderation, which limits their nudity, confidence in public, sex location, selection outside the home, and even more being flirty around others. Sounds kind of like any regular person, huh? To include some technical details, the shy attribute prevents autonomous flirting around other sims, but it's poly compatible, prevents situational nudity from happening, greatly limits nudity confidence, and prevents prevent public slash outdoor sex locations from being picked. So shy sims are highly self-conscious in intimate situations, preferring privacy and modesty. They avoid uh, nudity in public places, sex in risky locations, and struggle with flirting around others, often becoming easily embarrassed. Oh, uh, blushing bashfulness. Rodrigo is feeling quite embarrassed from displaying affection so openly. The warmth of their rosy cheeks serves as a reminder to be more cautious and discreet with romantic gestures in the future. Also, before we go back into game, there is actually another trait I didn't even realize. So this is casual romantic wicked attribute. Serious relationships, that's not for me. The casual romantic wicked attribute changes how romance behaves, preventing being able to increase real romance, but instead advance in casual romance. Casual romance is just like real romance. You still get to have fun with all the romantic social interactions, including having your first kiss, but it cannot lead to a relationship. Imagine being intimate with someone, but you never consider being romantically involved. It's just for fun. Casual romantics are still able to have serious relationships by making an exception, but be careful. Switching back and forth can lead to unpleasant moments. Casual romantics are not interested in serious romantic relationships and often are capable of building casual romantic connections. All of the romance in the world with no strings attached. Okay, so back in game, I don't know how much we will be playing with that one. However, I'm going to give her the shy one, which is interesting because she's actually a stripper. So, uh, I think it would be the other way around actually. Okay. So here it is here. We're going to go ahead and give her shy and we can kind of see like how this affects them. Oh, he already wants to. Okay. <laughs> wait stop okay so i don't know like they are at home but i'm wondering if if she was to like walk in here why are you naked i don't know what was going on with her clothes i'm gonna teleport her over here okay so i don't know like if she sees this how she'll feel so we can actually watch i'm gonna have her do that just to kind of see like how she's affected with that i don't know Okay, I don't know if she'll be affected yet or if it will be afterwards or if anything will even happen. Like we may just have to go woohoo like in public and then she might feel some sort of ways. So right now they have like the sexual stam stamina thing going on. He's feeling all sorts of ways. Juicy strawberry. Holden was feeling very thirsty and this mouthwatering strawberry is just what he desired. Holden is enjoying every moment of indulgence in the sweet and satisfying juice of such divine fruit. Okay, so yeah, he's feeling great. <laughs> Try holding with both hands. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think she's gonna care that she's watching, but I am still curious. I think like we actually have to go in public 
and then it might really affect her. Okay, yeah, I think we're okay, but okay, obviously with Wicked Whims, you can kind of like go anywhere and have fun. So if they were to, I'm gonna actually teleport them down here. Okay, they just like woohooed for a quick second. I don't know if that did anything for her. Okay, honestly, I don't know if she's gonna feel anything right now when it comes to like her shyness. They can become easily embarrassed with flirting and stuff like that. So I don't know if maybe she will kind of feel something if we do that stuff. Okay, she still seems to be okay. However, keep in mind, like she is very comfortable with him. So if it was someone new, she might be feeling something. But yeah, I love these two new traits. And like I said, there is that other one, but we're not gonna be using that one today. And then there's also the option to invite to bed, ask to join in bed, I love that. So there's a new um, social interaction, ask to consider terminating pregnancy. And then there's convinced to have sex university expansion pack that's interesting but yeah you guys this update was pretty huge honestly she's literally like passed out on the couch here <laughs> all she did was watch them woohoo so uh i'm sure she's feeling great but anyways you guys i thought this was such a great wicked whims update i had to do a video on it like i love all the new interactions so with that said i'm gonna wrap this up here i hope you all enjoyed it i hope you guys are having an amazing day and i will see you all in my next video bye guys